please note that this is not a kid friendly channel. This channel is for adult collectors, for anime figures, collectibles and various other anime items. <laughs> Greetings and salutations to you, my beautiful nerds. It is I, Rachel S. How's it going? Sorry it's been a while. I've been very busy with work and just a few other personal things. So apologies if you have been waiting for my video. I know I make excuses every time, but yes, for real, I've been doing a lot of extra hours. And obviously with my accident, you know, I've had to stop a lot of things. So yeah. Um, so yeah, today I'm here with the July Gacha Gacha Crate. So I need to go for all these July boxes. So uh, yeah, I have dined to open this. Uh, with this service, you get usually about up to six or seven gachas, depending how you feel, uh, of all the latest uh, gachas uh, or the most popular ones in the Japanese gacha machines of the month. Uh, sometimes you do get an occasional bonus item and it's, um, it's $38, roughly about £27 to the UK, but usually the gachas are really worth it because some can be up to five pounds each and yeah that's about it really so without further ado what i'm going to do is just open the box lay all the lovely gacha from small to large just on the table and show you what we got okay guys so here's all our lovely gacha from smallest to largest so we have a very nice selection uh as far as i can remember there was a lot of gadgety uh sort of build up uh gachas so hopefully we'll have some fun with those and i know pokemon's in this one so looking forward to that so without further ado let's get crack a lack in and open these up uh just a heads up if you have children opening these you may need to give them some help because some of these have very tight latches and they do hurt your fingers and they have a lot of tape on them sometimes so just be careful just a little reminder so here's our first gacha so it's a bandai figure so let's see what we have so let's look at the leaflet before the figure so jang. So, oh, we have a hubcot figure of a series of birds. So you can put it on your charging cable and it looks like they are all sat on a, a telephone cable. <laughs> uh, so we have an owl. Uh, I'm not sure what that one is. Uh, we have a little sort of um, a blue tit. We have a little white burb, little, another little sort of finchy sparrow. We have a little parakeet, we have a budgie and a cockatiel. So um, yeah, I like all of them. They are all pretty cute. I do like the um, the budgie and the, the little parakeet. They're pretty cute and I love the sparrow. So let's see what we have. So jujang, so it's white and oh, we got a headwig. <laughs> we got a little owl. So that's cute. Uh, this will look adorable, especially if you've got like Harry Potter pots. It's literally just the right size um for Hedwig so there we go so he's very nicely painted he's got little black details on his wings and a very nicely painted eyes so he doesn't look too goofy but yeah he's kind of adorable I might need to paint the beak a little bit because a little bit of the paint scraped off but yeah that's really cute so I like that so let's just pop Hedwig there and let's see what this is from so this is from the cable sitter birds so uh, a real bird sits on a branch as this bird gashapon sits on your charging cable a cute companion to keep by you as your phone charges and receive one of eight burbs so okay yeah, really cool so i like that really cute right let's go on to gacha number three we have a nice glittery round green gacha so let's pop it open so pop and let's look at the pamphlet so oh we have i think these are like squishies uh so the, let's have a look sorry this pamphlet's so get tangly so this is from the money money animals which i guess means squishy squishy animals well usually punny punny means squishy but you know what i mean i've seen these before like in bath bombs and stuff they're kind of like a very cheap me made sort of squishy but these are actually nicely painted so hopefully my one is so it looks like they're all sea creatures so we have a penguin we have a seal uh we have a killer whale uh i'm not quite sure what this thing's meant to be i'm guessing it's some kind of some kind of coral life creature uh, and a whale shark and a cute otter holding a shell so i would like the otter uh and i like the shark as well it's kind of cute um one of my friends is big on uh sharks just gonna poop the rubbish over here so let's see what we've got and oh i got the otter yay really cute oh his paint's a bit smudged on his nose but let's see how he feels it's not 
like one of those really weird wet feeling squishies. No, this is actually quite nice. So squish, squish, squish. His shell's a different colour from the picture, but I don't mind. It's a nice blue. But yeah, it could do with a bit of a clean. There's a lot of dust stuck to it. That's the problem with these. They do attract dust very bad. You have to keep washing them. But it's cute. Yeah, I got. I can add it to my other squishies that I got in my bath bombs a little while ago. So yay, adorable. So a little otter can go there and lie down and chill. Uh, so this is from the uh, Moni Moni Mochi Animals, so it's squishy and soft like mochi. Place on your desk for some stress relief or nightstand for decoration and receive one of six. So yeah, pretty cute. I'm glad I got the otter because otters, they're freaking adorable, especially like the ones from uh, Finding Dory. That was the one thing I liked in Finding Dory. It was a very sub-so movie, but... I like the otters, they were cute, and I got a plushie of one as well, so. <laughs> right, on to gacha number three, so Dijang, it's a very colourful item, and I think I recognise this from the Instagram, there was meant to be a very unique bag based on Japanese condiments, so I think this is it. So yes, I recognise this jar from a Dragon Ball advert. So these are all different Japanese condiments, but they're small bags. So uh, I don't know what all of this is, but I know this is like a, a rice topper because they use this for Dragon Ball because Gohan means rice. So it's like a sort of seaweed paste, I think. And it's like loads of other like pickled vegetables. There's kimchi and garlic paste so yeah really really random so yeah it's nice to have some different things in this gacha rather than just you know just pure anime figures it's nice to get some everyday items to use and okay <laughs> i think i got like some pickled ginger or something or, or mango i'm not sure what it is i'll have to use uh, google translate to find out what this brand is or just like on google it's a very small bag but you know if you kind of want to put you know, you know some fruit or something in it just to carry so you don't waste bags it's kind of a good idea so yeah it's very unique <laughs> i gotta say i need to probably iron it because it's very creased um but yeah really really random so i'm just going to put this at the back next to legacy so let's have a look so uh this is from the uh jar tote bag series so this gacha unravels to be the perfect tote on the go and in the shape of a popular condiment jar in japan and receive one of six i would have liked to have known what is what but uh, hey ho i can always find out via google or anyone on my sort of japan friends channels and youtube so i have to give a message right so let's crack on because i don't want this video getting too long so ja -ja, next up we have a orange gacha so oh it looks like we have some think in here QB. oh okay oh i had one of these before it's a, it's a mini vending machine these are so much fun uh i had one before and it was of a, an ice cream dispenser so hopefully this is a different one to the one i got before so these are all the variants that you can get so basically they're mainly different colors or different brands okay i don't remember uh nestle being called wrestler because i recognize that logo uh so it looks like we just have various chocolates crisps and ice cream so i definitely had that one before the viva one i had that so let's see which one we got so as you can see there is some prices in here and i had a little bag of some tiny tiny ass pieces so it looks like they're cigarettes i think or some sort of chocolate bar i'm not sure uh i'm not going to open this now because it is ridiculously super tiny and i don't want to lose them so you have the sign there uh so yeah if you know what viva is let me know it's either chocolate bars or cigarettes but i can't tell and yeah it's really cute so tiny i'm going to keep this in the bag and i'll put it together later and i'll put a post picture of it on my instagram later so yeah uh my instagram is uh manga mad rachel by the way so that is the vending machine i do like really unique gachas especially ones you can use with androids it's really cool so this is from the vending machines so these cool vending machines are all across japan and seem like every corner dispensing snacks drinks and other knickknacks have your own with this gacha and receive one of five so yeah there's all the other colors and variants so yay super neat Right, we're down to two gachas, so let's get this done and dusted. So, ooh, uh, I think I've had one of these before again. So I think these are a festival game machine. It's basically like a little wind-up toy, and you can catch fish or balloons and stuff. And I had one with, like, little 
a blue one before with like loads of little fish and squids in it and it was really cute i haven't actually put water in it to try and play with it but i just need to cut this open because it's really packed with tape because uh, there's a lot of pieces in here so oh, there we go he's open there we go so oh i got the green one this time and it's got turtles on the side so here's the pamphlet so oh yes yeah that's the one i got before that one and you have a little bowl to put your prizes in and you have a little scoop to catch the fish from the water so this one's got ducks uh this one has water balloons that one has turtles which is the one we got and this one just has little bubbles or balloons in it so yeah really cute i really like unique little toys like this it's super cool so what i'm gonna do is just unbag it put it together and show you the toy Okay, so here's our little festival toy. So as you can see, I've got all the little turtle toys in here. And if you wind it up, it spins around and around. And you catch the turtle with the little scoop. And yay, yeah, there we go. Shows our little scoop. And oh, no, turtle got away. No, nope, turtle's getting away. <laughs> there we go, put him back in there. So there's our little bowl and our scoop. So yay, yeah, really neat. Especially if you've got like miniatures you want to do photography with very useful oh i opened up the vending machine i didn't put the chocolates inside uh, yes they're chocolates i thought they were cigarette packets but they're not their chocolates unfortunately the sign broke off because the pins are very flimsy so i'll have to glue this back together and it's easy to put the chocolates in because you open the little door and put in your chocolates and you have your little dispenser there at the bottom and you have a little lever to select your chocolates so yay just thought i'd mention that real quick so anyway back to the festival toy this is the series it's from so this is the festival fishing game uh so goldfish scooping is a traditional japanese game and where a player scoops goldfish with a paper scooper and is seen a lot in festivals across japan and in many anime <laughs> this gachapon mimics uh just that but a miniature version to play with whatever you want and receive one of five colors so yay super neat Right, we're down to our last gacha, and this is quite hefty, and I can see a very familiar yellow little mouse in here. So let's get this open. So I've seen these around a lot on Facebook. They are very popular figures. So let's just look at the leaflet. Yes, they're the ones I'm thinking of. So this one is uh, Pocket Monsters, and there's five in a set, and they are all Pokemon in little uh, swimming rings. So we have Pikachu, we have Grookey, we have School Bunny, uh, I keep forgetting this one's name, Sobble, and I can't remember this one's name because I'm literally still learning the last generation, so I apologise. Is it munchiru or something it begins with m i remember that <laughs> it's been so long since i've played the the sword and shield game i couldn't get into it so we have a couple pieces so we have pikachu here looking very cute and cheerful and we have the ring which we need to put together so i will be right back okay so here we have the lovely swim ring and there we go so we have <laughs> pikachu looking very happy and cute and having some sun refund i don't know if these are actually float with water i'll have to give it a try uh but i'm not sure if the plastic has too many gaps in it whether or not it'll sink and i think you can also use the pikachu as a pencil topper because he's got a hole there <laughs> but yay this is really adorable i would have liked a bulbasaur one but obviously with his body type it would be very difficult to put it on there. Uh, with the with the ring he wouldn't fit it in very well he's not slim enough <laughs> uh, so this is from the uh pokemon swimming figure series so our pokemon are dipping in the summer for a swim are dipping into summer with a swim and staying afloat with their own floating tube and receive one of five variants so i'm glad i got pikachu i would have liked school bunny but I just realised if he's in the water, isn't that going to affect him if he's a fire type? <laughs> I don't know. Might do. It depends if he's touching the water or not, if he's just, you know, lying on the ring, just chilling. So anyway guys enough of me babbling this was the july box so just to quickly recap what we had we had the excuse me for not looking the camera we had the cute little hakot burb we had the little squishy sea creature we had the really cool little chocolate vending machine the lovely little summer festival turtle pool and the really cute pokemon um, summer ring figure so guys what was your favorite item in this month's box please leave a comment if you like and um if you haven't liked my channel and video give me a big thumbs up because it helps me out anyway guys i need to get a cup of tea so until my next video review i will say sayonara stay nerdy stay happy and stay collecting guys bye